Hey, now it's the Rob from 1061 Kiss FM here with my tag team partner in podcasting. Hey guys, it's me, Steve, web contributor to 1061evansville.com. Okay, and we have our predictions for Survivor Series. There's certainly plenty to talk about. Uh, a few things before we get started. I have to say, maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't agree with me. Uh, the build to this Survivor Series has been a total mess. Oh, yeah. In my opinion. We only have a few matches in front of us because only a few matches have been announced. I don't know if they're adding more to it. We don't have a single elimination tag team match uh, on on the show. On the website, they did mention that they're going to have one, but they have not named the participants yet. Well, boy, get me excited for yeah. it, why don't you? You know, like, <laughs> that's my favorite thing about Survivor yes. Series is the Survivor Series matches, and of course, uh, this is what happens. Uh, also, I feel like they were handed an opportunity to do something exciting in the light of Seth Rollins' injury. Yeah. Uh, their version of exciting is clearly something different than mine because uh, they really blew this tournament, in my opinion. You should have done it all in one night, and you made a very predictable tournament. Yes, that's, not one surprise. Yeah, uh, I have not been excited by it. If you consider Kalisto going over or Ryback to be your big surprise in the tournament, again, you missed the mark on exciting. You were yeah. handed an opportunity, and in my opinion, you dropped it. But hey, uh, as always, I'm excited for Survivor Series. Lots to talk about. All right, so we've addressed the tournament before. Okay. And our first opening rounds of the, well, I guess the second round now, uh, went the way we thought they would. Yes. We have uh, Reigns and Del Rio on one side. Mm -hmm. We have Owens and... Um, Ambrose. Ambrose on the other side, thank you. And um, as we predicted, that's what we got there. Are you changing your predictions for the tournament? I'm not. I, I hope that they make an opportunity somewhere, but I don't see it. Right. Uh, I'm choosing to not either. So we both have Roman going over Del Rio. Yes. We both have uh, Ambrose going over Owens. Yes. And then we both have Reigns winning in the main or in the end of the tournament, the finals. Yeah. Now you have him turning heel at tour. I do not. Correct. But you Correct. have Ambrose turning heel, right? That I said Ambrose would only. I could only see him okay. winning if he would turn heel. But I still see Reigns winning and no heel turn okay. on Sunday. Okay. So that is most of the show yes. right there. Um, I found some sites list Dolph Ziggler versus Tyler Breeze. Others don't. Maybe he's the pre-show. Could be. Um, you want to talk about that match? Go, yeah, let's go for it. All right. Who do you think? Um, I think Ziggler. Um, I know they brought Breeze in. He's not really been stellar by any means. I mean, he does a little ringside stuff, but he's not been too impressive yet. So I think they're going to give the first one to Ziggler. Yeah, you know, they've already had him lose. Yes. So I don't see why he'll he'll win this. You know, if he was on a winning streak, I might say uh, they don't want to kill that yet. Uh, I don't know if they have, you know, championship uh, futures for Tyler Breeze, to yeah. be honest with you. Uh, I think Dolph Ziggler will win this as well. Um, after that, we've got uh, really only two more matches to talk about. No. Uh, the very heated rivalry as of now, uh, WWE Divas Championship, Charlotte defending her title against Paige. They had a very controversial segment yes. on Raw. And I have to tell you, Steve, uh, it really worked for me. Okay. Uh, a lot of people upset that they used uh, Charlotte's brother, who passed away, Reed, uh, in the angle. Uh, Paige using him to get some cheap heat on him. A lot of people thought it was distasteful. Uh, apparently Ric Flair knew nothing about it beforehand. I have to tell you, it, when, when that happened, my heart kind of skipped a beat. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe that she went there. Yeah. She got amazing heel heat. Charlotte jumped the table, looked incredibly believable. She was rightfully pissed. Uh, this was after. This was not long after she cried about her brother, seemingly legitimately. Yes. You know, um, to me, that all came off really well and not at all lame, like a lot of people would fear a segment like that would. Yeah, I even noticed. I think Ch uh, Paige choked up getting it out because she even teared up saying it. It was. It was probably a hard thing for yeah, her to say. It had to be. Uh, and but you know what. Um, Boy, it worked for me. Did it, it work for you, or was it in bad taste for you? No, it, it completely worked. WWE's not above going into someone's real life. You know, they've done it with alcoholism. You know, they've done it with death before, you know, in years past. Mm -hmm. So it, it only shocked me that it came out of her mouth, not that WWE wanted to do it or allowed it. It's the right kind of heel heat, yes. in my opinion. And for it to come from a diva, yeah. uh, one who doesn't really have a huge track record of being a heel... Uh, wow, did that work for me? Yeah. That's it stuck with me to the point where I couldn't wait to talk about this in the in the episode today. Yeah. Um, so that's the way I feel about that. 
I have a cho- I have a I have a prediction for okay. this match. Um, what's yours? Um, I so, this is a tough one. Yeah, it is very tough. I so badly want Paige to win. I love Paige. I love what she's doing. Um, but I think that bringing up the, the the suicide, the brother, or not suicide, the overdose. It was an overdose. Um, bringing that up, I think it's going to come out to be a tribute story. They're not taking the title off Charlotte. I'm going to go with Charlotte. I agree that Charlotte's going to win, and there's a reason why I feel that way. I was really up in, up in the air about this one, didn't know who was going to take it. Uh, I watched the promo back because I was kind of tired uh, when they when I watched it the first time. Yeah. Uh, I watched it back a second time. It still had a great impact on me. Paige said one thing that made me believe she's going to lose. Uh, she very distinctly said, uh, no one's there to have your back. Yeah. And I feel like that's wrestling term for someone's <laughs> going to be there to save her. That's just like, trust me. Right. <laughs> so I feel like Charlotte's going to retain. Yeah. And uh, it seems like, unless we disagree in the potential main event, I don't know what's going to go last. In fact, probably the, the title tournament will go last. Yeah. But unless we disagree on the uh, tag match with Undertaker, uh, this will be staying by my side because we don't have any disagreements as, as of yet. As of yet. So uh, I'll go ahead and say it. I don't exactly know what's going to happen here. And uh, to be safe... I will choose Undertaker and Kane going over. I don't really have a reason for thinking that. To be honest with you, if it's going to be a longer booked feud, which it very well could be, you would think that Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman going over. Um, But I'm going to take Undertaker and Kane. 25th anniversary of The Undertaker. Um, I feel like just as far as name value goes, they're a much bigger name than the Wyatt family are. And I don't see WWE booking them to lose this match, although it's certainly possible. Steve, do you agree or disagree? Um, Undertaker is definitely on his farewell tour. I mean, if it's not Sunday, it'll be WrestleMania. I'm sure it will be his last match. I don't think it will be Sunday. Okay. But it, will, uh, it could be WrestleMania. But he's very, he's very old school in his thinking behind the scenes. So I'm thinking Undertaker goes down Sunday. Really? And the Wyatt families pull out a victory. Then that means the two cool cup of awesomeness is on the line. It all comes down to one match. It's coming home. So, you, <laughs> so you, you're coming for it? Yeah, I'm coming for it. All right, so explain your thinking here. Um, He's, that, that is a good, that's good logic. Yeah. He, he, like, we heard it many times uh, with the Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels thing. Uh, you put over the people who made you a star. Yeah, they say you go out on your back. You go out on your back, absolutely. And that is, that is old school, and that is Undertaker to a T. You're right. Um, but I don't see this being his last match. I also want to say this. As someone who is not traditionally an Undertaker fan, i.e. me, uh, since WrestleMania... He has brought it, and I've been very happy to have him here. Yeah. I've been proud of him. I, I was very disappointed in his uh, feud with Bray Wyatt before WrestleMania. I thought it was Bray Wyatt arguing with the Titan Tron. Yes. Uh, didn't work for me. It felt lazy on Undertaker's part, and then Undertaker uh, rolled into uh, San Francisco, beat Bray Wyatt, and I felt like didn't earn it, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, then you had the feud with Brock. That was fine with me at SummerSlam. He was around for that. But this time, he's been very visible. He's been, a, he's been a, one of the boys. Yeah, he, he, it's been a treat to see him sometimes yes. in WrestleMania season. And I like him in small doses. I feel like I've been getting him in those small doses. So uh, for the past several months, I give The Undertaker uh, two thumbs up because I've been happy to see him. Is there anything else you want to mention? Um, no, I think we covered it. I do want to say that I think that Divas match Sunday night will be the best Divas match of the year in WWE. Okay, do you think it will be the match of the night? Um, that I don't know. They Again, I hope they have some opportunity they take advantage of. Um, but definitely as far as the Divas. And I hate to separate the Divas because I know they had the revolution and they're all superstars. There's nothing wrong with separating the but, Divas. Uh, <laughs> you can separate the Divas but all the, you want. But uh, Charlotte Page, they're going to they're gonna bring it and that'll be the Divas match of the year. Uh, this is a match that Charlotte needs to be great, yes. I feel like, because this is her most high-profile one. Uh, we got to hear her talk on Monday, which we don't usually get as much of. and Which I'm fine with. Well, yeah, but she wasn't, she wasn't great, but she wasn't yeah. bad either. Yeah. The, okay, the longer she talked the worse it got the stuff with her brother worked for me yep. it kind of started to to lose impact eventually um not the brother stuff but just the rest of her her mic work but she's my favorite 
in ring of the Divas personally. Okay. And I see her retaining as well. So maybe the Divas match is the match to watch. It might be. We'll find out. We will recap on a special Monday episode. You'll want to be here. So for myself, the Rob, and for my broadcast colleague, Steve. Rest in.